afternoon. Can oh. see, you can hear me loud and clear? You got it, Okay, Liana, your mic is on for your information. Okay, so today, right, we are going to continue. So, but not exactly continue, but I'm going to like start uh, more on the theory because last week we have more of a practical session. So, last week we have a general overview of how you would sit down with your client and do the spa, right? So, today I'm going to go more into the theory because for me, right, it's very important to understand our products well and to understand, to have a little bit of... Um, to have a little bit of um, knowledge on skincare and our products so that by having those knowledge, right, even though it's a little bit, but when you uh, um, answer your clients, right, they will have more, um, they, they, they know that you know your stuff and then uh, there will be more trust, okay? Of course, there will be things which, which you do not know, you can just tell them, I do not know, okay? You don't have to lie, but... Of course, you must know a little bit of general knowledge on skincare. Agree? Okay. For your information, all my knowledge on skincare is received or I got it from uh, my journey in New Skin. So, I learned a lot from all the leaders in New Skin, all the way from Taiwan, from US, you know, from Indonesia. Okay. Uh, and this knowledge actually comes, uh, it's very, very uh, powerful because they also uh, involves... Um, a lot of experiences okay so i'm gonna share so we are going to have this um we have three more weeks right to share about this so last week we have a general overview of how to do the spa everything so the idea is for you to go out and start doing already okay so today i'm going to share more about the knowledge so i'm going to share about the one of the core uh new skin uh, system okay which is nutrisentials but before nutrisentials i'm going to go back to the basic okay so are you all ready okay I didn't see the chat. Huh? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Azaha. I just saw your chat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go with her. So now uh, we are in part two. Uh. Okay, I shall read. <laughs> stop the music. Okay, so today we are going to have a uh, more. Uh, what do you call that? Okay, so these are the objectives that we want to achieve. Okay, have the knowledge of the different uh, skin condition. Eh, sorry, have the knowledge to analyze different skin conditions, understanding all of the good and none of the bad philosophy. Okay, acquire basic knowledge and skills to take care of your skin's health. Okay, at least take care of our own skin. Ah. Okay, an opportunity to earn extra income. Good or no good? Okay, so this in general, when you see a face, right? Okay, we have these issues that we need to address. Okay, usually people will come with these issues. Okay, like uneven skin tone, pigmentation, dull, rough skin, deep lines, saggy skin, wrinkle, laugh lines. Correct? Okay, so uh, you must understand that to have healthy skin is very simple. Yes, you need to have enough antioxidants. Remember last week I said, basically there will be two things that you should think of when you have uh, uh, identifying or solving skin problems. Okay, basically if it's enough nutrition, make sure there's enough nutrition and enough hydration. Okay, so there will be extra here. Nutrition will be in the form of the antioxidants. Okay, but also we need sun protection. Okay, to prevent uh, from more problems with skin and then uh, hydration and exfoliation. Okay. Oops. I think when your skin opens eventually, right, because I also learned a few times. Uh, this one is my second time where I actually learned the product knowledge. Uh, the skin. 
Okay, so uh, if there's a chance, you can go and learn from Jessica. Okay, Jessica is our product uh, manager for skincare. Okay, so this is where I learned from her. Okay, so what do we do? What do we provide in our skincare? So you all must know what does new skin provide in our skincare. So basically, the first one is exfoliation. Okay. Okay, what is the best thing now that you all know, everybody should know, that exfoliates very, very well? Anyone knows? What is our product now that is best for exfoliation? Oh, I cannot see chats. Lah. Wait a bit. Lah. Y'all answer the question? Yes. <laughs> yes, you're all right, which is Lumi Spa. So we already have a very good product that helps us with uh, exfoliation, which is Lumi Spa. Okay, Lumi Spa does this very, very well. And you know, right, we do this every day. So it's a very good uh, thing. Huh? Okay, wait, let me see. go back, go back. Okay, and also we have high quality humectants to bind moisture to skin at all times. Okay, that's what we can also provide in our skincare. So you can see, yes, Rina is right. Last time we used to have this uh, bio uh, polishing peel, right? The microdermabrasion, which is very, very good. Okay, it has pumpkin enzyme. Okay, because microdermabrasion, if you were to go to all those aesthetic clinics, right, they are very, very harsh on the skin. So you cannot do it often. But our microdermabrasion we used to have is very, very gentle and you can use it once a week. And it's really, really uh, good. But because we have Lumi Spa, so we actually, and that product has actually been discontinued. Okay, which is perfect because even though it's very effective, but it's really troublesome because you need to, you know, use like, it's very dirty and then not something that you want to be associated with like every time, right? So, but with Lumi Spa, it's so stylo, milo and very, very simple. Okay, so next we have friendly ingredients to balance oil and water, okay? And high quality proteins to increase the collagen counts. Okay, this one I remember one friend actually uh, she apply collagen. Okay, but we don't need to apply collagen when our skin can actually produce collagen. Okay, so that's what we can provide. Okay, so let's learn a little bit about our skin type. Do you all know what kind of skin type do you have? You want to share? Don't know or everybody do want to share. <laughs> okay. Okay, so in case, in case people said, okay, very good, Suida, normal combi. Okay, majority of people have normal or com I mean combo, combo, eh? Combination skin. Okay, so this is a self-examination that you can uh, suggest to your friends. Okay, remember last week we talked about Vera, right? Okay, don't forget to use your Vera app. Okay, I have not really been using it, but I'm going to start using it, inshallah. So, we have an app. So, it's very uh, sophisticated, you know. That means now, right, you do not have to, uh, like, you know, sometimes you're not sure, but you can now become uh, very sure using the app, okay, by making use of the app. But just a little bit of information in case you have friends who ask you, hey, how do I know what kind of skin I have? So, maybe this is something that an extra information you can share with your friends. Okay, you do this test, okay. So after cleansing, yeah, right, you wait for 30 minutes. Okay, then after 30 minutes, you put the oil blotter paper on the forehead or the, and the cheek, okay, and see the oil level. So basically, right, um, if after 30 minutes, you have oil patches, right, on your blotting paper, then that means it's very oily. Okay, usually normal cases, maybe at least about one hour. Okay, normal to see oil after about one hour. So uh, like now the test is after 30 minutes, right, so you cannot be seeing so much oil but if immediately the blotter paper is so oily then it's really an oily skin 
okay but if it's more than two hours then you have oil then that is probably a dry skin okay so you can uh, suggest that to your friends okay Okay, so now let's go through the, some of the skin types. Okay, we have normal skin which has balanced oil and water level. Okay, normal skin must have both oil and water. It doesn't mean uh, balanced skin is not no oil. Uh. Still have oil because it's very important. Okay, the texture is fine. The pores is fine and it's an ideal skin type. Everyone wants this, correct? Okay, but uh, this is where we usually get okay, combination skin. Which is, yeah, correct, <laughs> Nisa. Eh, Nisa pula. Rina, T-zone always oily, right? Uh, so, then the U-zone, the U-zone here is dry. Okay, this is combination. The T-zone, oily. This one, U-zone, dry. Okay, a normal to combination skin type can be dry or normal in some areas and oily in others. So, that's why it's called combination. Okay. This one? Okay, and oily? That means the oil glands is very active. You oh. have not pause and you require deep cleansing. Okay. Man, I don't know. I'm asking you. Okay, dry skin uh, lacks both water and oil. Okay, so the fine lines, pore size refined and then oil and water level is really low. So the skin appears to be scaling and itching and cracking. So it can be dry, okay, when you see all this. Okay, and the skin peels easily, okay. And dehydrated skin, okay, dehydrated skin is more of a, is a condition, uh, more of a condition than a type, okay, that means the dry skin is a type, but dehydrated skin is more like a condition. That means it's usually temporary. Okay, also have rough, dull look. And basically, the skin is lacking in water. Okay, instead of oil. Okay, just now. Yeah. Let me read some info. So the dry skin is usually more of a permanent skin type, but the dehydrated skin is more of a temporary condition. Okay, and dehydrated skin is usually caused by external factor or inadequate water retention, lack of hydration. So usually can be improved with the topical skincare and lifestyle changes. Okay, whereas the dry skin one is usually inherited by genetics. I'm sure you have seen people who have that problem. Okay, lack of moisture usually cannot be changed but can be improved with topical skincare treatments. Okay, so most likely you meet people with dehydrated skin more than dry skin. Okay, okay then sensitive skin. Okay, sensitive skin, the skin looks matte, no, no oil or shine throughout the day and then usually you can see redness on the cheek Yeah, and peels easily. You can see also visible blood capillaries on the cheeks. And then probably they will tell you that after every wash, they will feel very tight. means a bit dry. And they can also feel burning or tingling sensation during skincare application. Okay, just a little bit of sharing that usually when people with sensitive skin, I think somebody asked also, right, that day, what happens if the person say, I have sensitive skin I, and I am very worried if, uh, if I were to try your products, let's say your Lumispa or the Boost. Okay, usually I will advise my friend, okay, sensitive skin, right, is, um, is an issue that, I want them to, I will ask them like what ultimately that you want to achieve. Like do you want to let your skin be sensitive all the time or do you want to address it? Okay, so if they say that, okay, I want to improve my skin, I do not want it to be sensitive all the time, then I will advise them, okay, then on my other end, later I will come to the product part, right? I will tell them that, okay, these products will help your skin to become less sensitive and even no, not sensitive at all. So would you like to try? Okay, I will give them the assurance that uh, my product is not harmful and then it will also help their condition. So if they are agreeable, that means they trust you, right? And your products, uh, then you just proceed. Okay, but so far with my uh, experience uh, doing on people's face, all kinds of face, uh, even sensitive skin can be, um, it, it's okay to use on sen sensitive skin. And you know, right, even our Lumi Spa have got a sensitive uh cleanser so if you know your friend is going to try your lumispa probably you can go and get the sensitive cleanser first so that it gives her or him or she more assurance on using it okay because trust me you want them to improve their skin and they also want to improve their skin so using our product will help them even okay 
Okay, so this is our, our daily routine. Okay, for daily, we have makeup removal, cleanse, tone, treatment, eye care, moisturize, sunblock, makeup. Okay, and then weekly is exfoliate, spa and mask. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at New Skin's product philosophy. Okay, this is very important. So usually when our, my friends get any issue lah, okay, on their skin, I will... Um, not be uh, worried or be like overly worried. First and foremost, sometimes I, I want them to, I want to take a look at their skin. I do not want to just uh, listen to them and say, hey, I got my skin uh, got this and that, you know. Because sometimes they might be alarmed or they are worried. They, uh, they exaggerate also sometimes. So it's best if I can come and take a look. Or now we have uh, technology, we can always do video call and take a look on the skin. Okay, what's happening? Sometimes they say a lot, but actually it's not so much. Sometimes, okay. So uh, then uh, after assessing that, you can... Um, Eliminate if need be lah on certain products, uh, skincare that they use. Okay, so basically what does it mean by all of the good and none of the bad? So all of the good means it contains skin beneficial, natural and science ingredients. Okay, and mostly they are all botanical. Okay, you see uh, they, they are beneficial, natural and science. So when people say, hey, is your product all natural? So I cannot say that my product is all natural lah. Because it doesn't necessarily have all natural product because the scientists do need to use some science ingredients because they want to use ingredients that is very beneficial to you. Okay, uh, very good, Swaida. Yeah, because this is a very this is a is a very good consultant. She always have that on standby. So with this, right, uh, anytime she's ready. Okay. So next, patented ingredients, proprietary technology and signs okay so it's not just any ordinary ingredients just because uh, company a uses strawberry i must use strawberry okay doesn't mean the company b uses pomegranate i'll use pomegranate no okay they, mu they must make sure that the ingredients is patented proprietary there's technology and science okay later you're going to take a look um our first core product that i'm going to share here is going to be nutrisentials Okay, and you go and see whether how high tech that product is. Okay, and last, strictly controlled study, safety, allergy, dermatologically tested. Okay, so if people ask you, hey, is yours dermatologically tested? That one is a sure one, okay? Because later you'll see we have 6S quality process, okay? It's beyond dermatologically tested, okay? But don't worry, this is very basic things that we should all, a good company should have. And New Skin is a good company, okay? And what does it mean by none of the bad? Means it's free from harsh alcohol, okay, um, soap and mineral oil. Okay, and this is something that is very, very common in most skincare. Okay, and mineral oil is very, very cheap but effective, right? But not doesn't mean it's safe, yeah? Okay, and then we have 6S quality process. So beyond all those uh, dermatologically tested, we have 6S quality process. Okay, I don't know how you all feel. Strict vegans. Uh. Mm, yeah, should be able to. But maybe you should go by products by products, like identifying certain products because our products are botanical. So it should be safe for them. Okay. But again, you can go products by product. Okay. Yes, Rina, mineral oil clog your skin pores. Imagine you use oil on the face. This the oil cover your face, right? Of course, the water cannot escape your face. But at the same time, you become a frying pan when you're exposed to the sun. Understand? Okay. <laughs> and, and of course, it clogs. Lah. You cannot breathe. Your skin cannot breathe. Okay, so this is a very special process that with this, right, I can safely tell my friends, right, I'm not worried. Okay. I am not worried when I give my skincare to you, my friend, because I have 6S quality process. And 6S quality process, we know that it's being used in our Pharmanex, right? But it is also used in our skincare. So I really salute New Skin and I'm really, really thankful there's such a company like New Skin that uh, bothers to do this, okay? Because uh, it's, it doesn't, um, it's not necessary, okay? In a way, nobody will check. Okay, and it's also something that is going to take a lot of money and time. Okay, so for a company to be able to do this, you must be blessed you know, that you are linked to this company. 
Okay, so I hope everyone uh, always, whenever you use the product on your skin, you'll be blessed. Okay, really, really feel blessed. Okay, so these are the 6S quality process, which I won't go in detail, but basically it's on selection. Like just now I mentioned, right, they will select good ingredients. Doesn't mean ingredients that is well known in the market. Okay, sourcing, they will source for the best uh, supplier. Okay, doesn't, uh, because the best supplier is very important, we must make sure that the supply is not suddenly uh, uh, not available so that you cannot continue, right? Okay, and then after that specification, you must specify which part of the plant that you need to extract, okay? And then you standardize, make sure that every one of the ingredients is the same in every bottle so that this month when I use is good, next month when I use is good, next year when I use also good. Okay. Okay, and very important also safety. So you must have safe, safety in all the products. You do not want to use a good product and then after that, develop issues. Okay, and last but not least, substantiation, which you can see in most of our products, uh, especially those uh, age lock products. You can see uh, the Lumi Spa, Galvanic Spa, Boost, they all have, um, what do you call that, uh, some clinical studies on the effect on the skin, right? So they have substantiation on the end product, which is being used by you and I, okay? Okay, so these are our uh, the series that we are going to touch on the whole uh, th for, uh, three weeks, the last, the last of the three weeks. But today, I'm going to just talk about the Nutrisential because it's the beginning, right? Uh, okay, so after this, it's going to be quite fast, okay? Okay, Nutrisentials. Who have tried Nutrisentials? I hope everybody has tried Nutrisentials. Okay, very good. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay, I got surprised from just now till now uh, from this lady Corina Stadiva. <laughs> Just now got people send me food and then I told the person, hey, I didn't order, you know. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Huh? <laughs> now got more things coming. MashaAllah. It's like, that's why I said this one is like magnet rescue. Huh? <laughs> thank you, Rina. <laughs> okay. Wait, let me. <laughs> okay. See, see this girl. Huh? Okay. Okay, first and foremost, you must understand what is the meaning of nutrisential. <laughs> yes, OG, later I share with you the picture. <laughs> okay, nutrisentials are products that provide nutrients that are essential to helping your skin recover and adapt to environmental stresses. Okay, and these nutrients help give your skin a healthy glow. And we consider these ingredients nutrients essentials or nutrisentials. Okay, so with the name, right? Immediately, you will know, right, who will this be for, okay? Okay, before I go to that, oh, okay, yeah. Actually, right, Rina is right. When we are, when we meet new skin at this age, <laughs> in the 30s, right, or the uh, 40s, you can go straight to the treatment ones, like the Triphasic White, the 180 series. But Nutrisential is good to try. Okay, I tell you what, uh, before, uh, the reason why we are all... Uh, I mean, most of us who have been in the business for so long is because we have been trained when we entered the business last time, uh, before H-Log series, before all the packages uh, came, right? We are exposed, uh, we, uh, we bought all the products in new skin. That means uh, how the all LOI is through TR90, correct? Uh, or Ultimate Duo. But last time when I LOI, I buy all the products which new skin have from A to Z. A to Z, okay, and we try all the products. We don't buy to stock up, okay, but we buy to try all the products. So even though it's acne product, even though it's for uh, dry skin, sensitive skin, uh, whitening series, 180, everything we try, okay, because we are the boss of the business 
and a boss of the business must know every product okay but doesn't mean that uh, now you have to try all the products okay because you are lucky we all you already have come into the age lock era because with the age lock era right actually people are moving faster but that's why hopefully with this uh, training like this where the pharmanex training and then um, skincare training like this you'll be able to learn and appreciate where new skin comes from okay because without uh, all these wonderful products that new skin has designed you won't be able to see each lock actually i always think so because uh, you need a lot of science a lot of uh, a lot of quality process for you to be able to uh, you have to do that so well that you're going to come across each lock because each lock wouldn't fall into the hands of just any company who doesn't have been doing this all this while for the 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 10 to 20 30 years before each lock comes on board if they haven't been doing all this 6s quality process they haven't been doing this all of the good none of the bad right each lock will not fall into the hands of new skin okay so we are very very thankful and we learn a lot from all these uh, leaders who have taught us to use all the products and use the product beyond the recommended use also okay okay so uh let me see yeah uh. okay the, now is what time okay since we got some time before i go to all this right the nutrisential alamak why i move so fast ah uh? Okay, before I move to the nutri essential, okay, let me stop share first. Okay, so I just want to share about some uh, I, uh, identifying concerns, lah, which I also learned from the new skin uh, trainers. Yeah, okay, we'll go back to the nutri essentials again. Okay, so for example, right? Um, okay, for example, there's this. Uh, table lah. so your client says my skin uh, a client who has a dry skin uh, she will say my skin feels tight especially after cleansing feels uncomfortable and sometimes itches okay so this person when you hear you suspect that this is a dry skin condition okay and what you observe is the thin epidermis okay the tight pores matte appearance rough feeling and can sometimes show sores and rosacea Rosacea is all the redness. Huh? Okay, so for combination, right, your client will say, the skin shines on the T-zone and is drier on the cheeks. Makeup tends to disappear. Okay, and what you observe is shiny T-zone with blocked pores and sometimes blemishes, more matte appearance in the cheek area. Okay, then for oily skin, right, your client will say that when they wake up, their skin is very, uh, oily and always looks shiny. Okay, and tends to break out. Okay, makeup never stays during the day. Okay, and when you observe, you will see all over shine, oily film on the face and large pores, some black heads and white heads and thick epidermis. Okay. Okay, for dehydrated skin, your client will say that the skin lacks a healthy glow. It feels tight and uncomfortable and makeup tends to fade. And what you observe is a dull complexion, matte appearance, fine horizontal lines, and skin can be flaky. Okay, and then sensitive skin, your client will say that the skin reacts to everything. It feels uncomfortable and irritated. It feels itchy with a burning sensation. So for you, you observe some blotchy, red, and irritated skin. Okay, and tired, <laughs> tired, huh? tired is a skin condition. Huh? <laughs> okay, complexion looks dull and tired, would like to have a healthy glow. Okay, that's what she will say. And then you will see a dull appearance, uneven skin tone, and skin looks tired. Okay. Okay, and of course, after that, we see the skin aging uh, issues. So, like skin aging, like lines, right? They will start to notice lines. So, they would like to keep their skin looking young and healthy. Okay, and if they see signs of aging, right, they will say they wish to have a firmer and tighter skin, would like to reduce lines and wrinkles, and would like a fresher, younger looking skin. Okay, and hormonal aging, can see skin aging and slackening, skin looks sometimes puffy in the morning, would like to reduce spots. Okay. Okay, now. 
Okay, so now back to the Nutrisential. Okay. So the good, the very interesting part about our Nutrisential. Okay, just now I mentioned, right, New Skin has so much science, right? Let's take a look at the basic skincare that New Skin has, which is called Nutrisential, which is the Nutrient Essential. Okay, even this simple... Uh, first step or first line of skincare that new skin has, okay, they include a lot of signs. So uh, the, the unique thing about this Nutrisential is they have this bioadaptive bio botanicals. Okay, basically what is this bioadaptive botanicals? So if the name suggests adaptive, right? So they are able to thrive in extreme climates because of their adaptive properties. Okay, and these special properties increase the plant's resilience and help them and of course your skin to recover from all kinds of damage and stress. Okay, after you hear this, right, do you think you also need this bioadaptive botanicals? What do you think? Need, right? Okay. You see, now I forget again. <laughs> I got ready already, all the things. Okay, before I move on, I've shared this before, but I think I want to share again. Okay, before I move on with Nutrisentials. Huh? Okay, let's take a look at, uh, just now we are talking about the products, uh, all of the good, none of the bad. Okay, I just want to highlight something. Uh, when I do facial for my clients also, uh, there will be a point where I want to stop and share with them what's the good thing about new skin product, right? All of the, of the good, none of the bad. Okay, so usually I will have this thing called the pH paper. Okay, so all the science teacher knows huh? what is this <laughs> pH paper. So I want to do a little mini uh, sharing for my clients. Okay, on skincare health and products that we use. Okay, so I always uh, share with them because this is a very basic knowledge that will determine how uh, you choose your skincare product. So I will share with them. Hey, do you know what is your skin uh, pH? Okay, so first of and foremost, I want to test the water pH. Okay, so the water pH is actually pH 7. So pH 7 is uh, really a bit of green. Lah. Okay, can you see that? Slight tinge of green. Okay, so that's pH of water. Okay, I put aside. Then how about your skin? Okay, so the skin, I will put on my hand and let and try on the skin on my skin okay so ph of skin you know right now got so many advertisement it's actually about ph 5.5 okay so slightly yellow than the water okay and then now we also want to see what are the products that we use on our skin right or the the skin uh wash the cleansing product that we use. So first, I want to bring up this. By the way, so old already. <laughs> this this uh, soap, okay, which is fab for washing clothes, right? So I just want them to understand the idea of what is a soap. What is a soap? So when I use, uh, I use the pH paper, uh, pH paper on soap, right? It will turn what color? Okay, I know my fab is blue, <laughs> but it is going to be blue because why? Because detergent is supposed to be alkaline because that's the best because our, our what do you call that? Our clothes uh, is very dirty, right? Our socks very dirty. So we want to make sure that, okay, everything is good. So a good detergent must be pH alkaline, okay? So should be 10, 11 like this, okay? So, would you like to use that kind of soap on your skin because your skin is not alkaline? No, right? Okay, so now you use... Wait, huh? Contaminated. So, now we share something very, very... Uh, okay. Okay, so some, now we share a very simple product. Alamak. <laughs> this product, you all see this? Okay, this one we call the baby soap, right? Okay, because why I use baby soap? Because baby soap is very 
mild and gentle, right? So let's see whether this soap is mild and gentle. In terms of the basic, basic uh, component, uh, which is the pH. The mild and gentle soap for the baby is actually very alkali. So it's as good as using the fab. Uh. See? Baby soap, fab. Okay. Okay, then after that, let's see what else. We don't use baby soap, right? Okay. We don't use baby soap, so we use atas soap, right? Okay, what atas soap we use? Last time, uh, last time, last time. Can see not? Last time in my you days, <laughs> I use this soap lah because my friends say very good, very good. Okay, this is a counter soap. So what happened to counter soap? Very expensive, right? So is it very good? It's very good, but I just want them to see what is the basic thing about soap or uh, cleanser lah on your skin, right? It must match your skin pH, right? But look at this. It doesn't match your skin pH, you know. It's as alkaline as your as your fab, and you paid so much for it. Okay. Okay. So, see, this is the expensive soap on your face. This is the baby soap, and this is fab. Okay, like same same ah. Okay. So then I must test my product also, right? Okay, so I also use the soap, which is one of the product that New Skin has uh, 37 years ago when they started the company. When no one, 37 years ago, no one actually talks about pH 5.5. Okay. And that's not Lux, Rina. Unfortunately. Eh? That's actually more atas than Lux. You know the... Uh, like uh, you go to the to see the doctor in a uh, that brand. <laughs> you go see doctor in the ah uh, that brand lah. Okay, so I use this one, which is the bar soap ah. Uh. So this one is one of the product that New Skin has thirty seven years ago when nobody talks about pH five point five ah. Uh. Now everybody's talking about pH five point five. Okay. But now this company that says none of the good, eh, none of, all of the good, none of the bad. Okay, 37 years ago and this is the first product that they have. See, can you give a big round of applause to new skin please? This is just now my skin and this is the pH 5.5. Okay, so if this is the basic, um, I want to share with people, if this is the basic, um, how is it? Uh, requirement for you to uh, to identify a good product. Then you should give a new skin a big round of applause, right? Okay, for thinking of this way beyond when nobody talks about it. That's why when new skin uh, wanted, when the company, um, when the company founders wanted to start the company with 5,000, uh, they only start the company with $5,000 because they cannot, uh, get any loan from the bank when they want to start a company that says all of the good, none of the bad. Okay, even the bank doesn't believe them. So they start the company with whatever money they have. At that time, they were 20-somethings. Okay, so they are pretty young and doesn't have much money. So they have $5,000 to start an international business. Okay, that's why I really love the company's founder because the core value of the founders, right, will actually... Um, will affect the core values of the company and at the same time will affect the core values of us, the, the people that they attract, which is us. That's why I value New Skin so much. Um, and this is my company. Like some people have joined many company, doesn't matter, but this is the only company I joined and I'm still here. So whatever that I see in this company, right, was right and still right until today. Alhamdulillah. Okay, this is very important. Because I also do not want to join a company and then I go and join another company and then another company and then another company because then it will uh, jeopardize my, how to say, uh, credibility. Lah. I don't know, I cannot because I, I already 
when I I don't join this kind of company, but when I join, I join a company that has, uh, that has be as a credible company is some a company that is true and honest. Okay, and I will never give up. That means I will never. Uh, oops, now I forgot that I didn't share this link to Willy. No wonder she's not here. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I'll give her the the recording. <laughs> so sorry, really. Okay, so very interesting, right? So, uh, in while waiting for your client to put on the mask, remember last week Rosani said, right, put on the mask for your client. Then we share all this information. It might be tiny little details, but it's very important to um find the right person to also join your company, lah. Okay. Okay, so now back, back, back to the Nutrisential. Okay, so just now we talked about science and even the first line of products, uh, skincare that we have is full of science and technology. So if you take a look here, right? What is inside this uh, bio-adaptive uh, botanicals? We have these six uh, in general. Uh, some This is uh, notable ones, okay? The, the, the highlighted ingredients. So we have like Hydroflex blend that is able to adapt your skin hydration needs in changing environment. Can you imagine if the environment changed, right? From very humid to dry, your skin, because you apply the Nutrisensure, right? It can adapt. Wow. Isn't it like intelligent? Mm. Okay, next, Resurrection Plant. The name already very interesting, Resurrection Plant. So the, uh, the plant can survive months or even years without water, only to burst back to stunning life as soon as it receives water. So if your skin is really dry, then it is able to adapt, right? But at the same time, provide, uh, I mean, make your skin adapt as well, lah. Okay, then chaga mushroom, a tree mushroom that can live for more than 80 years in frigid climates thanks to its incredible antioxidant properties. Okay, radiola roses. This one is a wild arctic plant that grows on sea cliffs and high mountains and is known for its ability to strengthen the body's response to stress. Okay, this is all very interesting, you know, because if you think about it, right, if you see all these words, the names, right, would you even... Have you ever even heard of such plant? Okay, maral roots, a perennial herb that grows in subalpine areas and has been long harvested for its numerous health benefits. And Siberian ginseng, a sturdy herb that can adapt to a wide range of soils, withstand pollution and is known for its potential medicinal qualities. So if you see here, right, you can see that it's incredible plants used into our nutri essentials. So uh, it's not something that you can uh, get just at in the market, okay, uh, in any pharmacy. You cannot because it's very unique. And if you see how these plants are unique, right, is it easy to get these plants? Not really, right? And to consider it as one of the cheaper or lower range of the product, it shows a lot about our company, okay? That means even this starting range is not something to be uh, looked down on upon right okay next okay so what does this bioadaptive botanical complex do so after you you see the, all the ingredients right okay this is what they are able to do Bioadaptive botanical complex helps your skin adapt to your unique environment so that it can recover from and gain resiliency to env environmental stresses. So you see, who, can you, when you read all this, right, can you inside your head, right, think of people that you can introduce this product to? Ah, okay. Not just rare, but very unique plants. Okay, adaptive moisture hydrated more or less depending on your skin's need, whatever the day, place or season. Okay, protects and balances skin during the day while optimizing its natural repair processes overnight to promote healthier, more resilient skin. Helps your skin bounce back from life's daily stresses. Supports skin's resiliency to free radicals, pollution, stress, etc. So you always look your best. Calm, tired and overexerted skin and leaves your skin feeling revitalized by building a glowing radiant complexion for skin that looks and feels stronger and healthier than ever. And great for all skin types 
And this one, everybody wants to hear right nowadays, right? Hey, is it paraben free? Is it mineral oil free? Is it pellet free? Yes, it's everything free. <laughs> okay. So this is something that uh, um, I don't think is edible, Rina. <laughs> but you can try if you can find them. Okay. So this, uh, when you hear all this, right, would you all want to try this bioadaptive uh, or this nutri essentials? Okay. When I heard about this new, uh, this is actually our new um, revamped Nutri Essential. Okay, the, the old Nutri Essential is very, uh, it has all those interesting ingredients also, like uh, colorless antioxidants, you know, uh, very interesting uh, ingredients, but this is a much upgraded version, which is much better actually. So when I heard about this, actually, I tried them again, okay, and I love, love it. Okay, so who is it for? Okay, this is good for anyone who's looking for an introductory line. Okay, good for general healthy skin, like taking a multivitamin. Have you heard of people who tell you, oh, my skin got no problem lah. So, would you recommend them this? Yes, of course, cannot be free. Because I always believe uh, good things cannot be free. Because if you give free things, uh, people don't appreciate, right? Okay, so they must pay for it. Because if they value their skin, they will pay for it. Okay, so I like this a lot, general uh, healthy skin, like taking multivitamins. So that means uh, if your friend comes to you and says, hey, I don't have any skin problem, but hey, would you like to give some multivitamin to your skin, right? Okay, and no real skin concerns other than the skin type. Okay, and just for skin health maintenance. And just now you heard Rosiani says, right, after she take her uh, wudu, right, she will tone back with the Nutrisential, okay? So I also like to tone back with the Nutrisential because it's a very simple product lah. And it's very nice to use, mm, okay? Okay, so let's go through the products one by one. Not really one by one lah. In general, you can see we have cleansers, right? Okay, first, I just want to check with you. Why do we need to clean our face? I don't want to clean up my face, can or not? So what is facial cleanser? Why do you need to cleanse? Anyone wants to share? Is it everybody must cleanse a face? <laughs> okay. Yes, Rina Dai Dai must clean face. Correct. You'd have to remove the dirt collected over the the whole day right okay and of course for ladies after all the makeup on the face right you need to remove the makeup and besides that you have to remove oils you have to remove the dead skin cells you have to remove uh, any contaminants right and also at the same time you help to clear the pores and prevent skin uh, condition like acne okay so is it important to clean your face so the surface of skin is deficient in sebum and bacteria can penetrate the hair follicles to cause inflammation and the end result is acne. So proper skin cleansing removes debris from the pores, prevents dirt build up and allows sebum oil to reach the skin surface unhindered, reducing the likelihood of a breakout. Okay, so if you, are, you want your skin to have no breakout, make sure you clean your face well because the sebum can flow all the way out into the uh, dermis, right? and doesn't have any blockness, uh, blockage on the skin, okay? So must clean. So our, uh, so it's clean, cleansing day and night, right? So uh, we have this, uh, the Nutrisential range, we have the Pure Cleansing Gel and the Creamy Cleansing Lotion. Okay, the Pure, uh, like I said, I've tried all, right? So the Pure Cleansing Gel uh, is, is actually intended for oily skin because but doesn't mean that you don't have oily skin you cannot use because it's just some gels. So I like to use it also. But I also like to use the cleansing creamy cleansing lotion. Um, last time before Lumispa, I use it as a double cleanser. That means using it uh, without water to remove makeup first, like cream lotion, right? And then after that, I use another cleanser to wash. Yes, correct. No ugly people, only lazy. Correct. I agree. In anything lah. No ugly people... Everybody is pretty. Everybody is, 
I feel everybody's pretty. Is once you see those people who doesn't clean themselves up, doesn't dress themselves up well. I mean, as in don't carry themselves well, like maybe comb their hair, everything right. Then you can see them. That's not very pretty, right? Uh, so, is so. Do you think you are providing essentials for others? Okay, so if just now I said, right, everybody needs to cleanse their face, right? So whenever you meet your friends and they never clean their face, this is a chance for you to educate them and a chance for you to sell one cleanser. Okay, so ting ting, GSV go into your, your pocket, <laughs> right? So cannot be no GSV, sure can have GSV, okay? Then at night also same, choose either the pure cleansing gel or the creamy cleansing lotion. So this range right, is very good for teenagers also. For teenagers who don't have any issues with their uh, skin, like no acne and all, they can use it and they will love it. Okay, they will definitely love it. Okay, then after you cleanse, you need to tone, right? Okay, wait. Uh. Okay, maybe you can share with me what is the benefit of using a toner. Why must toner every time you wash? Oh, yes, Rina is always a teenager. Okay. So why do you, what is the benefit of using a toner? Anyone knows? Why do you need to tone back after you wash every time? Okay, so toner helps. Remember just now we tested the pH level of water, right? So the pH water, uh, level of water is actually, uh, our Singapore water is good, neutral. Some water level might be slightly alkali. So because our skin is pH 5.5, so whenever we wash, we need to tone back to bring the pH back to our skin pH. Okay, that is one. And then uh, also, uh, it is able to diminish the appearance of pores and also allow the skin to receive nourishment from other products. So after you tone back the skin pH to 5.5, our skin is able to absorb all other nutrients on the skin. Okay. So this is, and our toner doesn't have alcohol. Remember, no alcohol. Okay which is no alcohol means the harsh drying alcohol like ethanol. So when you use the pH, right, it doesn't cause further dryness because most toner uh, has alcohol that is harsh. So it tends to dry the skin because you they want the effect on the skin. Okay. So after you tone, you need to moisturize back. So these are our moisturizers that we have. We have the Moisture Restore Day. Uh, protective lotion and the other one is the mattifying lotion so anything with the word mattifying is for oily skin because it has as a matte effect to reduce the shiny on shine on the skin so the one with the uh, protective lotion the normal to dry skin okay so you need to moisturize yeah because you need to even though your skin is oily you need to moisturize. Doesn't mean oily skin or acne skin, right? Don't moisturize, okay? So you need to moisturize your skin. And at night, you also need to moisturize. So the difference is in the daytime, your moisturizer usually contains uh, pH, uh, pH is so not SPF, okay? Contains SPF to protect against sun so that at least uh, you don't need, those of you who do not like to use sunblock, no need to use sunblock, but uh, already have a SPF. Okay, but uh, at night will be the normal ones. Okay, so we only have one night Nutrisential uh, moisturizer, which is very, very rich for you. What is the purpose of the night moisturizer? Because at night is the time for your skin to repair. So you use the moisturizer to help repair your skin more. Okay. And then after that, just a little bit before we stop for today, which is just 9, 4, four o'clock, we need to exfoliate or mask. So this is something that we do uh, once a week, okay? And, okay, this is the one just now we have the polishing peel, which we no longer have, quite sad. Uh, 
Okay, we also have the creamy hydrating mask. Okay, and the exfoliant scrub. Okay, we still have the exfoliant scrub. So you can try the exfoliant scrub. Our exfoliant scrub is very unique because our exfoliant scrub is very gentle. It's made of spheres, spherical beads. So spheres, right? It has it's hollow inside. So as you rub your the, this um, scrub on your skin, right? The the beads actually break inside instead of causing uh, harsh cuts on your skin. So it's very gentle and you can even use it every day if you want. Okay, and then the clay, a creamy hydrating mask. If you haven't tried, you must try because when you put the creamy hydrating mask, right, uh, it's like um, putting like, how to say, uh, what do you call that? Uh? Cream, cream foam, eh? the one that you make on cakes or whatever, it's like that. And then after that, you if you sleep to with it, right, it will just like soak into your skin. And then when you wake up in the morning, you'll be surprised. It's, it disappeared, but it you can still have um you can still feel the cream on the skin, even though you don't see it anymore. So that's how good it is. Okay. So go and explore all these products if you haven't. Go and explore because uh by exploring these products, right? It gives you an opportunity to get to know the products better and increase your product usage. The purpose why you should increase your product usage is so that you can help more people. Okay, you can only sell products that you have tried. Trust me. So if you try all this product, right, you will you can easily share with them. So for me, if they don't uh, want to spend so much, even though we know, right, Lumis Spa is very good. Uh, even though we know, uh, okay, Boost is another category. Lah. It's for treatment, right? Okay, so or for hydration. But if let's say for Lumis Spa, if they don't go for Lumis Spa, I will very, I'll be very happy to introduce them the Nutrisential Cleansers because they are already very, very good. Okay, don't be afraid to share with them because you never know from a start of a one single Nutrisential product, it can lead uh, and develop trust and like uh, for your customer to new skin product and that will encourage them to uh, even try other products in new skin. And even uh, if they know this simple product which is affordable is very good for them, they don't mind to fork up extra money next time when uh, they are ready. Okay, so that's how we accumulate. That's, that's the beauty of this business, you see. So initially, you know, I know some of you go through uh, challenges, you know, gathering all your GSB, your customer. But hey, once you have your regular customers, right, your GSB is never a problem. And you will never have any, uh, you even have increased um, use from each individual customer. So one customer can use uh, too many uh, products, you know, from maybe from, usually what I'll do, right, with TR, my TR90 customer, when I see them every week, right, Some uh, of course the initial months or the initial weeks, I will explain to them about TR90, I will explain to them how they should improve, how they can improve in their uh intake of food you know how they can improve their results but ultimately after a while they are quite comfortable and they are doing very well right so my next move is actually to introduce them uh, with the skincare so uh, of course first is to give them the extra service right i will give them the uh, free facial i will start with the lumi spa and then everything lah. i'll try on them and then uh, from there right i can uh, develop new interests on skincare with them uh, and at the same time, weekly consultation with my, my TR90 clients, I get to know them well, you know, like last time, uh, I'm very surprised, this is the first time I hear people say that they develop friendship with us, but I agree because most of the time with my TR90 clients, right, okay, let me off, with my TR90 clients, right, we actually share a lot of uh, things, lah, because even though those weekly, sometimes can be like 30 minutes to one hour, right, the weekly consultation is very uh, precious, and we develop friendship and from friendship, right, you know your clients needs more. And from there, you can introduce more things to them and even can introduce the opportunity to them, which I know some of you are here from the NIT also, right? Okay, and I'm very uh, happy. Actually, that's the real, uh, how to say, uh, that is the whole journey of this business. We don't really sell products, but we really sell hope and dreams and we sell uh, possibilities, okay, which we cannot get outside. Okay, so for all of you new friends, right, go and explore and have your own journey. Of course, the journey will not be easy, but it's definitely worth it. Right, everyone here? <laughs> okay, so uh, 
we have a few more days to end of March and I wish everybody success and you can hit all the target that you set yourself to hit. Okay, because April is going to be a new month and we're going to start our uh, vitamin drive in April, right? Because of our Ramadan, inshallah. So we're going to have more blessings, inshallah. Okay, so to everyone, have a great Saturday and go and strive for your last few uh, days of boost sales. You know, you need to close all 10 boosts for you to hit the target. Go, go and do it. No matter what it takes, just do it. If you don't hit it, it's okay. But if you did it, then that's good. So if you're looking for your boost client, who knows? They might not need boost, but they might need Nutrisential. Okay, so with that, I would like to end this session. Everybody, good Afternoon, have a fantastic weekend. Bye bye. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam.